say, okay, if you're doing another race, say, say you get a ride in another class, well, that that time is going to be a minute or so quicker than, than or whatever, maybe not quicker. You know. But for the newcomers, generally, I mean, when you think that Freddie Frith lapped at 91 in 1937 before the war, <laughs> <laughs> he's really yeah, he's in, in this day and age, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. bang on. Are you getting this flat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah same again, just build up to it. Yeah, that's right, that's right. See, sometimes I, I just want the lads up here to have a look, or I can pull in there, in there and have a look. But it's another one that looks something that it actually is. Just make sure the curve sort of pops out a bit as you come yeah. out, so you want to stay over this side, because that's what jumps out a bit. Yeah, it's definitely big jump at the top of the hill is a bottle jump too, you know. Yeah, it's just that blind again for the yeah. split second where it's blind, you just think, well, what's over there? But well, all the way up the hill you can think to yourself, I'm not going to roll up this time, I'm not going to roll up this yeah, time, I'm not going to roll. And at the last second the temptation is there just to, to feather it, and then you, you get all annoyed with yourself then, <laughs> like, but, you know. It's the safest thing, I think, because I say it, it does want to pop up, I think, if you kept it. Right Eventually, you, you, if you keep doing it, you keep racing on the TT course, you renew it every time. Right, okay. it, take, it took me a, a long time to have the courage. And even then, I wouldn't do it in the first year practice session. Yeah, that's right, yeah, that's probably, how I even got to the Tuesday, Wednesday. I might be flat, and I think, yes, you know, just as you get dialed in, but I certainly wouldn't go it the first night and do it. Point of the last few poles, and it's the same when you get the ballot cry, you can use the big point of the poles out as well. So, dead easy to see, and plenty of time to line yourself up. Just about now, you start to go in, yeah, and then you can see the second day, but yeah, go for that one. there's plenty of room in this, it's not as if you believe, yeah, no, you don't want to be this, you know. Once, once you know that line, yeah, uh, you, you can you have your that you build build your speed up. Back in the fifties, that was a massive one back bridge. I know, yeah, I, 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 
Garrigan. Like 30 meter jumps or something yeah. used to do, or 30 foot jumps. And the high, there was one before the Highland, there was loads of those old, old bridges, and, and as the years went by, they flattened. This up here, Bully Bridge, that was another big jump. Was it? Oh, right. massive, yeah. Well, I think it was 1934 or 35, that got flat. So you think, right, we were doing them times, and the track was a lot harder. Yeah, it's the same. So, you know, I'm not going to bore you with TT uh, know, facts like and figures, street. but the same man, right, broke the 60 mile an hour lap record, the 70 mile an hour lap record, and the 80 mile an hour lap record. The same fellow did that, Jimmy Simpson. So that's how the development was at that time of the bikes, you know, <laughs> and the cars getting better. And that all happened within about less than 13 years or something. Right, yeah, right, right time. 20 mile an hour jump. Corner of that white line, yeah. trying to aim for that. It's nice. yeah. You've pretty much got your knee on the solid white painted line kind of thing. So you're happy with this, the orange mark on the tree on yeah, the right there? head for that and then just slowly <laughs> peel into it. Yeah, I'm glad somebody else calls it orange. I know somebody who calls it yellow. Oh really? Yeah. Full of that. Sort of looks a bit orange to me anyway. It always looks orange to me. Too gentle right, you can stay on the right. Going up the gears all the way, they're, they're only gentle right. I usually just tuck right in and keep the head back there. The only thing was, years ago, all the crowds out here at the TT, now they're all bad, you see, well, uh -huh. it used to be a great sensation. Now, are you happy with this one? Just back a gear. Yeah. Hardly break, just back a gear. Do you want to look out or are you happy with it? You can have a look at it, yeah. It's a tricky corner. Yeah. Because the thing about it is... Same again, it looks really tight. Yeah. Somebody's put mark on that sign, that paint on that sign, but that's no use. It's, it doesn't, you can't use that at all.
slow down when it kills me. Yeah. Is this corner called it? Doran's Bend. Doran's. Bill Doran, he crashed here in 1950 and he broke his legs. You know, they used to just sort of refer to it. It didn't have a name, but it's still, you know, Doran's, Doran's Bend, but it all came off and the, the name sort of stuck with it. Some people call it Bullig. The bridge bit is Bullig. That was it, when it was Bullig Bridge, the big humpback bridge. So sometimes they call it Bullig, sometimes they call it Doran. Okay, so just to the left of the set, they're looking for the white painted rocks. on the curb opposite the rocks, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And this, oh. this is always a funny line because you sort of exit across the road and come straight back on yourself. I was a TD practice here a couple of years ago behind them chevrons. That's what we all do. Although you'd rather stay on the left, it doesn't seem to work that way, you know. Did you notice the bales at Craig this morning? No, I didn't. I'm not getting out here, just pull, oh, right. just pull in and let this crap it right. go. Some, somebody went into them yesterday. Oh, What's well, straight into the pump bit? They, they, they tried going right. I heard a lot of uh, a lot of sirens, so I'm I'm in <coughs> sirens because we're, we're near the hospital. Right? You happy with this last year, yeah? Yeah, I was just going back again as I come around there, just yeah. a bit of gas and then back again and then it seems to open out nicely then. To right opposite it. the two middle chevrons really. There's four, four sets of chevrons, so right opposite the two middle chevrons. Yeah, also I was using the double white lines in right. the same kind of place. It yeah. doesn't matter where you where you peel off at. You can see you see what you're trying to do. And this corner looks quite nice here, actually. It's not not that sharp. You don't you can run the wrong thing going into it. Just about get fourth gear and then back to third or something like that. I used to see the gable end of the cottage. Yeah. I used to be out by that, you know. Right. This is another place where you need to work hard on the left. Yeah, yeah, like, you like, don't like, want to get into trouble here. This bit sort of it's a black bit, hole, yeah. Bit, yeah. 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 Yeah, if you. Nice. This will just help the, the first bit. This will open up oh, oh, fantastic. Then you've got your two bends that look the same, but the first is not a bend. You're okay with that, yeah? yeah. It's just a flat straight out, line. Flat out for the this first is flat, one. this one, yeah. Back gear for the second. It's just that they, they look the same. The second one tightens dramatically. Yeah, it's wet, it's about to get a bit of water. Ah, yeah. through that water. Yeah, that one tightens all Right, you were okay with the. Um, the apex of Glen Helen. Yeah, I was just trying to get over here, back in another gear, and then yeah, wait for I can see the corner of this There's wall. There's some greenery on the wall grown over, just out of sight. See there? Yeah, yeah, that's where yeah, the apex is. Yeah, you got loads of room to like come over here. Right, do you remember this from last year? Did you you were this last year when we got out? Yeah, yeah. So you know what you're doing. Wait for that big tree. That's me being. No. <laughs> see on the wall then, the yellow stripe. Yeah. Just try that. Well, if you're happy with the tree, like that's all right. But I would not. I was just using the tree to aim yeah. for, sort of go to that end of the road, and then sort of start to peel. Just in. have a look at this. This is, this is brilliant. This. This is what I think.